Hey, Bass Geek here, and we're going to talk about everything that is terminal tackle that I caught fish on this year. Welcome to my 2021 buyer's guide on terminal tackle. Not a whole lot of stuff in here and probably some unique stuff in here that you might not see somewhere else. Now, one of the very first things I'm going to talk about is canine fishing line, okay? That line to me is right now the best all around. Everything from their braid to their canine fluoro, which is uh, mono on steroids, their Pro 100, which is their fluorocarbon. Generally, I use every single ounce of it. Now, there is a discount. It is 20% uh, in the uh, description below. You guys want to make sure you go check them out. And with a 20% discount, it's not going to hurt you because I'm going to tell you, it's already about 5 to $10 cheaper per spool than with 20%, what are you going to be out by going out and trying it, right? I'm a big supporter. Go check them out. And the next thing, you know, I know you guys seen us catch a few fish on the spinnerbait this year. And I'm an old school spinnerbait guy. I love spinnerbaits. Got a whole system that I go through. And blade color on spinnerbaits is a big, big deal to me. And I've got a very in-depth, detailed blade color video out there from just last year. The company that makes the best blades in the world to me is Nichols Lures. The biggest thing is they make a lot of really cool colors, but their white is, is the deal. To me, I can go out there, change to a white color, or uh, you know, pick up their gold, and it, they'll even put a little bit of flake on them. It's amazing what they do with blades. But to me, having a white, a sartreuse, gold, and a nickel or you know, just a silver are a big deal. So you want to go check those blades out. They are top notch, top quality blades. And those white ones played a huge role with all the rain and all the overcast that we had earlier in the year. So speaking of spinner baits and really jigs in general, this is something that I actually keep a box of on my boat and that's spinnerbait blades and a few different standard colors of skirt material in case I want to change up my jig or my spinnerbait or my buzz bait or my chatterbait whatever it may be sometimes I like to make slight adjustments to those things and you can do it really fast the place I normally get them is tackle warehouse and it's normally just the all-terrain skirt material, uh, the all-terrain skirt collars, and for my jigs, even the jigs that I want to, you know, I, I'm, I may like the skirt, but I really, really, I really like a rattle on a jig. So just to add a rattle, all-terrain makes the skirt material, they make a rattle that you can add to any jig, really any bait, um, they make the rattles, the collar, the whole nine yards. So all terrain is where I generally pick that stuff up. Uh, guys, as always, there's going to be links in the description to all this. Some of them will be affiliate links. They don't cost you a dime extra, but they do help the channel out. And as much as I plan on coming out there and fishing with you guys this year, it will help me pay for you know those stays and gas money and all of that stuff. So if you're going to shop at Tackle Warehouse anyway or wherever, go ahead and use those links for me if you don't care. Helps me out greatly. So now let's jump into swim bait heads. Now I threw a ton of smaller swim baits this year and a ton of Alabama rigs. And Alabama rig, again, is it a bait until you put the baits on it? <laughs> I don't know. So we're just going to chuck it in with terminal tackle. Now, guys, I'll just tell you my favorite Alabama rig all around. They make finesse versions. They make multi-blades. Uh, the great thing about them is, is that you can unscrew the head and order replacement arms for them. So if you break an arm off, you just order some more. And most of the time what I do when I make orders for them, I just go ahead and order some extra arms. But that is the Shane's Baits 
A rigs, those are generally my go to A rigs year round. So make sure you check out Shane's baits. Mustad has a good cheap head, even has a little eye in it, and it is called the Impact Spring Lock head and you'll know that i am a big 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 fan of spring locks because it just saves your baits i'm telling you guys push-up keepers suck okay they suck spring lock is the way to go i know a lot of people have a lot of issues threading them up on there we'll do like a short specifically for it and I'll show you the ways to do it. Now, what I'm not using that spring lock head, what I am using is a ledge head, micro ledge head, okay? The micro ledge head, I'm telling you, it just doesn't get stuck in rock and stuff nearly as bad as like your ball heads do. And it's got a nice little head wobble to it also. You guys know I've been a big fan of the ledge head for a long time, but you need to check out the micro ledge head. I'm telling you, again, it will save you baits, all right? It will save you baits. But the ledge head is something that I've used for a long time. It's got a good stiff hook in it too. Even the little ones, they've got a nice strong mustad hook in them. So right now I want to talk about shaky heads. So there's two specific shaky heads that I use. One of those shaky heads brands is Cumberland Pro Lures. I love the design on their head with the swinging spring. So you can do a lot of different things with that particular shaky head. They make a standard shaky head, so a smaller, you know, for your regular shakies, uh, your regular size worms. And then they make that mag shaky head, which I'm a huge fan of because during the summer out on the ledges man it is great to get out there with that big three quarters ounce head or even an ounce head with those big long worms and just drag those suckers on the bottom and just shake those big long tails around you can catch some giants doing that love that and what i love about that uh spring keeper that swings away is that if the worm comes loose it gets out of the way from the fish and the hook but it stays put so you're not going to lose your bait near as often now the other type of shaky head i like i also like when i'm out there deeper but maybe i'm fishing for some small mouth during the summer maybe they're a little more finicky on the ledges and that's my angler tungsten shaky head the great thing about that angler tungsten shaky head is it's a smaller profile and you can really feel the bottom. So you can throw those smaller worms out there a lot deeper and have a better profile with that more compact head. I do have a 20% off discount for angler tungsten too. So if you want to pick up good tungsten, in my opinion, the best tungsten and again, that's me supporting a local guy. He literally lives a stone throw away from me. Angler tungsten is, is the way to go. The size of the weight's printed on, so you don't have to guess at it anymore. And he makes a ton of different weights from Carolina to Ned Rig and the weedless Ned Rig with the big hook on them which is what you see me fish all the time when it comes to a Ned Rig. It is exclusively the Angler Tungsten Weedless Ned Head, okay? He's got the flipping weights and the worm weights. You've seen me using worm weights on my trip down with Joey fishing uh, Clark's Hill. But I started out with the shaky head, and that was the Angler Tungsten Shaky Head. So great product, and again, 20% off all their stuff. The Ned Head's are the bomb guys go check them out those texas rigs i like to use the pegs too so the pegs that i use generally are the mustad pegs angler tungsten makes pegs they work just as well but there's a lot of different pegs out there you can use so uh, make sure you go check out the uh, mustad pegs though they are made a little bit different and i think they stay put with just a single peg because they're a little bit longer than most other pegs really like the design of those so now we're going to break down really to hooks guys and some of the hooks that i use and one of the things you'll really notice about me is i bounce back and forth 
with a lot of different companies. There's two major companies that I use more than any, one being Mustad, the other being Gamakatsu. I bounce back and forth with those companies a lot, but now I will use and you know uh, a lot of stuff from VMC, their bladed spinner. In other words, their version of the Owner Flashy Swimmer. I'll use it a lot. I use the Owner Flashy Swimmer. There's two or three things by Owner that I'll use, two or three things by VMC. Trocar, I've got a few of their flipping hooks. Uh, kind of leaning more toward now the must add grip pins. All these will be down there, but the biggest ones that I use this year, uh, as far as flipping goes, definitely the Ultra Point must add grip pins. I am loving that grip pin. It holds in place better and it doesn't seem to tear the bait near as much. And that goes from everything. When I say everything, I mean the daggone. EWGs, the offset worm hooks, the straight shanks like you see here, you name it, they've got it and I use it from Mustad now. And so that's a lot of what I'll, I'll use and I've kind of moved away from Gamakatsu for that exact reason because now you've got the grip pin so like if I want to put a fluke on, it's incredible how well it holds it up there and it doesn't push it down just from really twitching it hard. So there's two different styles of belly weighted hooks that I tend to use a lot for flukes, for some smaller swim baits so that I can get them weedless. That is the Mustad Power Locks. Now you'll see me use those quite a bit and you'll also see me use the Gamakatsu and the Gamakatsu is probably my favorites and they're the super lines and most of the time I'll use probably a 1 8 to 1 16th. Those are generally the two sizes that I go to in both of those. I do like the Mustad Power Lock because you can kind of slide that weight around a little bit. You can kind of push it back if you want to and get that bait to kill out different ways. So uh, you got to work at it a little bit, but it works pretty well. It's pretty incredible. And you can't do that with the uh, Gamakatsu's. So Last but not least is probably going to be my treble hooks. Now, guys, you know, I went on the tirade. If you haven't seen that little short, you might want to make sure you go check it out. You know, I'm not going to tell you to go change hooks on certain things, but certain things like one of my favorite baits in the world is, of course, the head and one knocker. And guys, I'm changing the hooks out on that bait. And almost everything I change them to. Now, those are going to be round bends because I want a longer hook down there. But a round bin hook on that, you know, and, and it's going to be the, the triple grips. Now, when I'm fishing a little shallower in the spring and I'm fishing those little one half ounce red eye shads, sometimes, especially if I'm around a lot of stuff or there's a lot of leaves or something like that on the bottom, I'm going to use those short shank triple grips. Uh, the ones that kind of bend in. Again, we'll put links to in the description to all this stuff. If I'm replacing hooks, it's going to be 99.9% .9 of the time on treble hook baits with the triple grips. All right, guys, that concludes my terminal tackle. Hopefully, I threw some things out there that you guys don't normally think about when we think about terminal tackle. And so maybe we gave you some ideas on trying some new stuff out, or maybe you're already a fan of a lot of it, or maybe you know something that's even better. And with that being said, you guys know I love to talk about bass fishing, so tell me about it in the comment section down below. I'd like to hear some of your favorite terminal tackle that might be a little different than some of this. And, uh, you know, it always helps to learn. But as always, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you guys ring that bell. And as always, I appreciate the heck out of you all. You guys rock. All right, guys. So as always, make sure you check out Canine Fishing Line. We're going to give away the hat today. You can see this is the video. Remember, the Pro 100 is the 100% fluorocarbon. If it says fluoro, it's actually mono. Uh on steroids as the owner said to me so the pro 100 is the fluorocarbon and guys this line is kind of between that uh, it's well it's invisex quality line at a uh, great price and as always you're going to get 20 percent off in every description of every video so let's go find out 
who won the hat. Going to highlight it. Go to our random comment picker. Paste it in. We're going to filter the duplicates, include replies to comments. And yeah, we won't do all this. We'll just go ahead and see what's what. All right, let's get the YouTube comments. Let's see how many we got. 111 unique comments. Now, let's get this raffle started. And it will be Lodi. I, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Sorry if I butchered it. They got the hashtag canine fishing in there. Thanks for introducing canine fishing line. I'm ordering some of the Pro 100 for winter finesse fishing. Love the channel. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and congratulations. I will drop a comment, get you my email, and I'll send you some pictures of the three hats. You can pick one and I'll get those mailed out to you. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. And as always, man, you guys rock.